every single time we've had to make a little bit of a change, there's been uncomfortability that comes with it. Making the jump to the Challenge Tour, to the European Tour, and now to the PGA Tour, the biggest stage in the world. I haven't been playing my best golf, so there's a sense as of late that I'm about to take another jump. I'm quite impatient, I think. And I always wanted to be in the US, even right after college. I was like, I'm ready, I'm gonna play the PJ Tour. This is where I'm going. And I wasn't ready. That's why I went home to South Africa, I think, to kind of start building this career that I've had now. Traveling really only started when we started playing Challenge Tour. Morocco, Kazakhstan, China, Malaysia, Finland was really cool and interesting. It's really opened up our world. And then I got my PJ Tour card. Now we're in Jupiter. We wanted to start a family here and... Yeah. There's a human being brewing over here. <laughs> and we're both, we're both really excited, so still have to get the baby room ready. It's probably time I get on top of that, to be honest. It is. I think the biggest thing is just that the US is so far away, especially during this time with COVID and whatnot. Like, I talk to my mom every day and she's just sad because she misses a little boy. <laughs> I'm from South Africa, that's really my home, and I haven't been there in a long time. Okay. Ernie's here, Charles Schwarzel's here, Louis Westhuizen's here, Brandon Grace is here, Gary Blair is here. Those are the guys that I looked up to my whole life. But now I'm also competing with them. And you had to make that switch of like, they're not just my heroes anymore. I've got to go and beat them as well. You're gonna get better playing with the best in the world every day. I think the most challenging part of this sport is when things aren't going well and the ability to persevere. It has taken me a little while to find my feet here, if I'm honest. I know the caliber of player that I am, um, and I certainly feel like I haven't lived up to that. I'm okay with that. Can you keep learning through that process and not be too hard on yourself? You have to take that leap of faith. You have to separate yourself from the result in order to attain the result you actually want. That's the difference between guys that are great and guys that are not, is that little voice inside just telling you that you've got this. I don't care how many times I hit my head against this wall, I will break through. 